Good morning and good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Good Morning Tottenham Away episode. It's a Monday morning episode. What a weekend it was. Certainly for many of you that were in the stadium and many of you that watched it uh, around the world at home or whatever, whatever your favourite location is to watch all the Spurs games. I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome time watching it. What a game it was. I hear it now. Many, many people have said, you know, obviously non-Spurs and have said, you know, it was a weak Man United, not Man United at best. Whatever the case may be, guys, even if there were proof that we caught Man United at a good time, you cannot take away how Spurs played here on the weekend. We First half, it was probably even Stevens, would you say, but second half, we completely dominated it and thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly deserved the, the win. Um... James Madison, um, there was talks about him being on crutches uh, on the weekend. He was seen on the crutches after the game. And it was a precautionary measure, guys. It was a precautionary measure. And all being well, he should be fit to go again come Bournemouth. Worst case scenario, we do have a Lo Celso, who I said over the weekend, surprising, given that he's played for that pre-season, he hasn't featured in any of the two games that we've played in the league. Um, so he's on standby should we need it and if Madison were to recuperate but as it is although it's a Monday it is it, you know later on the week will tell us a little bit more but as it stands right now it was a precautionary measure and he should be available for the weekend guys I look at that team I look at our team on 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 the weekend and I have to say Vicario was 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 really solid um, uh, he showed the reasons why we got him I thought Porro um, Romero, Van der Ven and Udoji, the longer they play together the more they will grow with the sumo in front I think that's that's pivotal to get that actually that solidity going in there and I look at the whole team, the rest of the team Saar and Madison, starting to look a little bit tasty uh, in the midfield area, the only part and I'll say this now guys, in the two games that I've seen that will look a little bit light is up front. Obviously, Harry Kane is a huge, huge loss, and we're not going to keep going on about him. But it's, it's, it's not. You know, you can't deny the fact that his presence was massive. And with him and our team, probably would be talking an, an, another, 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 and a completely different right now. But with his presence, I felt he was, you know, as a player, he was the gel between linking up with Kulu and Son. His understanding with, with Son was you know the best there is in the business i believe you know, for many years it was the best in the business the tandem the way they play together and obviously kuliszewski adding to that and he needs to pick up his form as well because we haven't seen that kuliszewski that joined us the first six months last year was disappointing this year he started a little bit but he needs to get into the flow of things and i believe with games to come he will get into that but i feel like with kane's um, presence in between in between Kulu and 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 Son, there's like there's that lack of chemistry in there with the, with with Richarlison playing there, and Richarlison's movement. I feel like it's a weird one for Richarlison because it feels like he's getting lambasted, but it's really it's not not to you know, it's more to do with the fact that his movement is not just a. But the, the striker moves, first of all, he creates the movement for himself, but he also needs to create the movement for others around him. And I don't feel that he's there. He's there, he's there in, you know, Kane's elite, elite level, mentally and also, like, technically, um, the way he sees, he sees the game. So sometimes the movement, you make it for yourself, but you also need to make movement for others. And I don't feel Richarlison does that too well. Um, it's, it's, and this is the big call now between now and the end of this transfer market. Do we stick with Richarlison or do we go back out of the market and try and bolster that, that, that forward line? Because I feel like in, if you look at that 11 that played on the weekend, I feel like the, the, just the front line that's starting to now look the weakest of the whole team. And I feel like we need to do something there. Yes, Son can play on the left-hand side. We've got Perisic just covered there. Solomon's cover for, for Kulu when needed. But up front, I, I feel like if there's 
if there's like an injury or something, you know, anything of the sort, yes, Song is a plan B, it's fine playing as number nine, but I do feel like we need something else, different different sort of player than Richarlis, one that can gel the, 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 our, our front line, but also can link, link it up well with the midfielders. Um, that's the part for me that I haven't seen enough of for, the, for my number nine in these two games. Um, also, you have to say that I feel like, listen, this place here has got to be an absolute fortress every home game. I think if there's any uh, possibility of us doing anything this season, the home games, this has to be hell for any teams coming in there. And if Saturday's anything to go by, we're on a good, we're on a good trajectory. Having said that, the difficult times will also come and that will also be a test for us in here, how we get the team going when they are facing those difficult times. Um, early signs for me, the way we play, if we play a team vis-a-vis, -vis, like in the way we did against Man United, where they come to us, come, you know, come at us the way we go at them, I think that suits our games a lot more better. There will be teams, however, home and away, that will play probably a lower block, similar to the way that Brentford played on, on last week. And those are the difficulties we will have trying to get in and behind them. That's where you're relying on set pieces, corners. I think that part of the game has to improve much, much more when we face those teams that play low block. However, with teams that play vis-a-vis, -vis, I think we will have a lot of joy and they're, and they're, and they're, they're going to be some proper quality games, both here and away, uh, when we play those sort of teams. Um, defensively, we was a lot better than we were against Brentford, of course. We, we know The longer those two guys in the, at the back, Romero and Van der Ven, play together, the better they'll become. The holding mid, I think the full backs as well did well. Um, need to improve, I said it over the weekend as well, the inverted full backs thing when they're receiving the ball facing uh, Vicario. That part of the game needs to be improved um, from the two full backs or whoever plays at full backs. But, <laughs> Listen, when they're facing the opponent goals, our fullbacks are formidable. Both Poro and Udoji really come to life in those scenarios. And I thought the three in midfield were superb. Saar, um, Madison, and of course, man, the beast himself, um, Basuma, was absolute awesome. I feel like we've got enough cover there if any of those three players require, um, I'm talking about during the season, if they require a rest, we've got Skip, we've got Hoybier, we've got um, Lo Celso there. Cover at the back, Sanchez can cover the centre-backs if we, no other centre-back comes in. Phillips, I don't, I'm not sure how ready he is to be involved. Um, full-backs, similar sort of thing. I just feel like up front, I really do believe that with 10 days to go to the end of the transfer market, we need to invest. We're desperately asking the board to invest, Levy, invest in the forward line because I believe that if we can get an, a real quality centre forward that gives guarantees us 20 goals, at least 20 goals this season, I think we can have a really good season this year, um, this year guys. That's my take on it. That's my feeling on it Monday morning. Having said that, wicked that we won, brilliant that we won the, the game on the weekend, four points out of six, but nothing has been done yet. Much is yet to do. I think we enjoyed the fact that we won on uh, on the weekend. But guys, we need to bring it back down. All focus must go to Bournemouth. Bournemouth will provide us another difficult game at their home ground. They'll probably similar set up the similar sort of way that Brentford did and we'll have to overcome that. So I feel like the 10 game mark is what we always say on Tottenham away. I feel the 10 game mark will give us a real, um, a real shape of how our season's gonna go. So whilst we enjoy the moment, you should always enjoy your wins, enjoy your results, always. But the day after, in this case on a Monday morning, all focus now must go towards Bournemouth. Let me know your thoughts this morning now that everything's settled, everything's calm, everything's, you know, a week, uh, we've got a full week ahead before the Bournemouth game. We've got just over a week before the transfer market. What needs to be done, guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do not forget, guys, don't forget, lock it in. Monday night live, 8.30 p.m. See you on the Monday night live. As always, forever always, it's come on you Spurs. The first game we look for, Robbie. Tottenham away. Tottenham away. Tottenham away. Tottenham away. Tottenham away. Tottenham away. Tottenham away.